So we've had some time to test this out, see how it's going. And I'm here to answer the question that I know you all are wondering. Is it worth it? Would I do it again knowing what I know now? Goodbye green counter. Here is the citrus cleaner I use to remove any residual oils left. And here's the awesome paint that I use. I got it from Amazon, gloss white, and I'll link it below. And the best part, there's no primer and there's no top coat. This paint is all in one and that is why I chose it. In some tutorials that I watched with this painting project, some sanded, some did not. I chose to sand because I wanted to ensure that the paint had something to grip to. And to be honest, I ended up sanding off grease, especially right here in this part of the kitchen by the stove. It really helped to help clean the counters too, but after sanding, I definitely did the citrus cleaner. There was definitely some major water damage in, along this crease and on the other side too. Just over the years of water being on the counter and getting into that crack was swelling up the plywood underneath the laminate and it was like a, a half an inch raise up. So this took a lot of sanding and a lot of pressure.
magical to watch that ugly baby puke green go away and be replaced by this brilliant white. And by thin coat, I mean don't slather your roller with a whole bunch of paint um, in the beginning. So I, this does cover well, as you can see, um, but the thin coats, just make sure there's not a ton of paint on your roller. Save the thick slathered on coats for the end. this roller I did get it off of Amazon but you know it won't show up in my order history and I tried to search for it and I cannot find it so it is the strangest thing but it was a roller that came with its little pan and an extra sponge as well so hopefully you can find it or find something that works really great for you sure to have a fan going open the windows plenty of ventilation this paint is very fragrant and I'm sure not good for your lungs hey guys thanks so much for sticking in there with me now you see me kind of going over certain layers without letting it completely dry I did I did do that I mean it's kind of my personality <laughs> to just kind of do whatever all over the place but after I kind of had this first coat on, I did let it dry for an hour. These first few coats, you can go every which way. Now once you get closer to your last coats, do the long, even strokes from side to side. I believe my final coats, which I don't show you in this video, are short to short side. Just slow, complete strokes. You see in the corner I left an area of green. I actually have wood glue drying in that spot. The swelling from the water damage was so deep that I accidentally chunked out some plywood so I had to repair that with glue and I let that dry for about 24 hours and then I painted it. It did take me two days to do all the coats, which again I don't show in this video, but I rested an hour in between and I went ahead and took the tape off in the end and make sure that your last coats are thick and even. Watch this. Hey Adley! Come here! guys here it is we are five or six weeks out from painting we painted second week of October and it is November 19th so we've had some time to test this out see how it's going and I'm here to answer the question that I know you all are wondering is it worth it would I do it again knowing what I know now? I learned some things, definitely. A couple mistakes painting in high humidity. It was 90% humidity when I painted. Secondly, I put I don't know, I, I rushed it, you know? It didn't have enough time to cure before we put some things on it. So let me just tell you a little bit. I put three coats on this side, and I put four coats on this side. Knowing that we use this side more, it gets more heavy use, okay? 
Another thing that I learned was thin coats in the beginning. Thin coats in the beginning. I gave them at a, about an hour in between each coat. And in the end, slather it on there. I did not do that on this side. That's what I learned. Um, these had thinner coats each time ended with thinner coats. I can see streaks of my roller on this side and I cannot on this side. All right, so I did wanna show you some things that occurred. I have these two marks here. I believe a metal coffee mug fell out of the cabinet before it cured. And this side, and I can't even feel it. It's so, these layers over here are so thin. Um, again, I think I'm gonna refinish this. I have a little, I can't even see it. I have a little mark here, something that I placed on here before it was fully cured. Uh, but since then we have no other issues on this side, but we don't use it as much as this side. I had a little marker, oops, on here, a little Sharpie marker, and there was a mark over here. I used alcohol to get it up and you can see that it took off the glossy top coat or you know the glossiness of the paint. Um, I don't mean to say top coat because you know this was all in one. No primer, no top coat, it is all in one. I have more marker here. This is like a gold marker mark and I've left it there because I don't know exactly what to do with it because I don't want to use alcohol. But I usually put our fish over top of that so you can't see. There is a little blemish on this side. I believe a fork was stabbed into my countertop. With it being such a glossy finish, it is very easy to clean and get marks off of. I've rubbed off guffs from the pads at the bottom of the computer and uh, it cleans up really well. My husband still needs to caulk around the sink, but I haven't had any trouble yet. Um, it, things are not perfect around on the sink, but it'll be easily covered up once we caulk around. So. This was not hard to do. I knew if we were gonna do this, it was something that needed to be simple that I could do by myself. Not that my husband wouldn't help me, just I wanted to take it on and do it all by myself. So would I do this again knowing what I know now? And the answer is absolutely. This is a $40 facelift. Um, it looks fantastic. It's not perfect since my countertops needed to be sanded down from the water damage, but um, it, it's, great we're really happy with this you know one day we'll budget for Corian or marble and uh, but until then this is a well worth $40 elbow grease a little bit of sweat and um, get her done so again my last tips would be low humidity do not paint in high humidity unless you're willing to wait days <laughs> uh, for it to cure and Thin coats in the beginning, thicker coats in the end. And uh, yeah, we're really happy. So if you found this video helpful, please like it. Please share us with your friends, subscribe, and we'll see you again next time.